Hi, what I've been doing here is I've kind of upgraded my uh, braking system on the bike. So what I've done is I've done the holes on the disc as you can see. Originally they were, they were solid and um, and I've, I've done a pattern on, on the disc. Uh, as you can see what it is, it's it's four, four, four holes in a line and then three, then four, then three, then four. So that's how they are. There's three and there's four. Um, you, you'll see. You'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll have some footage on how I actually design this, mark it out, measure it all up, and all that, and drill it as well. Um, what you want to do when you when you're doing the, the holes, you want to sort of gradually increase. You want you want to start with the two and a half mil pilot hole. Then you increase the five mil, and then the final is a, is a seven and a half mil, which is what that is there. Um, you can go smaller if you like. If you think seven and a half mil is too big, you can go six mil or six and a half mil or even even five mil. I kind of found that all the other bikes, other motorcycles, pretty much all had around the seven and a half mil holes. Um, some average to, to, a, to seven mil, seven, seven, seven and a half mil. So. The other motor woods is um, like the California and so forth. I've got seven and a half mil, so I, I, that's what I did. Um, the benefits of having drilled holes on your discs is um, one, it dis dissipates the heat a lot quicker. Um, if you get caught in torrential rain, it dissipates the water a lot quicker as well. Um, I think it definitely has a much more aggressive look compared to just a solid disc. And, um, and there's even a, a bit of uh, weight, uh, weight to saving as well. I mean, um, I don't have, a, I didn't have a scale to to, to weigh him, weigh them up both. Unfortunately, I would have liked to do that, but um, I could feel when I was lifting them up that there is a noticeable difference um, in, in weight. And these these are quite heavy, heavy discs. So. Um, um, the arguments that have I compromised the uh, integrity of the discs, I don't think so. Um, these are, as you can see, they're very strong, bulky, bulky uh, discs. They're very thick as well. I think they're um, they're about eight mil thick. Um, as you can see, they're very solid discs, and and the holes are quite distant from the edges as well. Um, so uh, I don't think I compromised the, the integrity of the discs or, or the safety of them and at all. Yeah, so now I've done that disc there, now I'll start doing the holes on this one here. I'm not going to bore you with uh, the length of doing this because it takes forever to, to drill out all these holes. So you might sort of see them, some little sna snapshots of it. And, um, and you'll see the before and after photos obviously. So um, yeah, just che check the video out, and you'll see if, if you intend to do something like that. I mean, if you if you if you are going to work on your discs, just um, just be careful, you know. I mean, um, because it's it's, it's um, you can sort of damage your, your discs and, and and to a point of no return. Um, just analyze it if it's worth doing it on your particular discs. And, these these are heavy cast cast iron discs and they are quite good to work on actually. Um, these days now they, they use a lot of stainless steel and other sort of uh, material kind of uh, discs. So I'm not really up to speed on how how good they would be to drill. These are very good to drill, very easy to drill actually. So yes. Just keep keep an eye on this video and see how it goes. Thanks. Okay, so what I've done here, I've marked the um, the disc. So I've spaced out all the yeah. Uh, there should be 24, 24 uh, markings. So I've spaced them out and I've got the angle where I want the holes to be on the line of where I want the holes to be. That's the that's the left hand side disc. It turns like that. So the pattern will be going 
in that direction. Now I'll do the same with the right hand side disc. And the, the, the right hand side being on the other side will have the patterns reversed. Okay, so that's the, that's the right hand side rim with a rotation that way there, which means it's this way. And that's how the discs go. So that means on the right hand side, the patterns will have to come this way. The reverse to that one there. So what I normally do, what I'm doing is I'm splitting the, the rim up in six first in six. So I'm just going with with the center holes of the bolts, and that will give me a pattern of six. Didn't you see the back brake? I thought I showed you. Oh yeah, yeah, you showed me the video. I'm doing the, doing the holes in the front discs now. Mm. Should be fun. Mm. Keeps me into trouble. Do I more than some brakes to keep you out of trouble. <laughs> keep working on the motorcycle, doing unnecessary modifications <laughs> just to keep myself busy. Oh well. Otherwise, I'd be spending time and time and money on other things. So. And that's done. So the two discs are marked out. As you can see, that's, that's on the right hand side, and that's on the left hand side. Perfect. Okay, now what we're going to do. We're going to do this. Each line is going to. One line is going to have three holes, 
and the next line is going to have five ho uh, four holes. So what I've done is I've spaced them out. And as you can see, one line's got one's at 10, 20, and 30 mil, and the next line, the holes are at 5, 15, 25, and 35 mil. So I'll be marking out um, that. It's this one at five. The next one at five. Next one at five. Okay. That means the next one will be 15. So you've got one, two holes, now the next hole will be 25 mil. Okay. And the very last, 35 mil there. So as you can see, that line there has one, two, three, four holes. Now this next line will have three holes, and then the next line will have four again. Three, four, three, four. Um, so, you know. This one here will be... This one here was a 10 mil, 10 millimetres. So that means 10 mil means. So that's pretty much all the markings done with all the holes marked. Now it might look a little bit confusing, but mind you, I will get it right. Oh, my coffee here. This this will smarten me up a bit more. <laughs> Good Italian espresso. My God. Okay, there we go. So that's all done. 
So what we did, we did the holes with the, we started off with the 2.5 mil drill, just to make the, the pilot holes. Then, we, then I went to a 5 mil, and that's a 7.5 mil drill bit there. So that's one disc done. One disc completed. Okay. G'day. As you can see, I've mounted the disc onto the wheel and back onto the motorcycle. I've done about a thousand k's with the bike now, just to test the brakes to make sure that they work the way I... Um, just to make sure that the brakes work the way they're supposed to be, and, and they do. I'm really happy with the result. Um, as you can see, I will show you some before and after photos. The wheel looks a lot more aggressive, a lot more sportier than how it looked before with the, uh, the solid discs. It grips a lot more. You can feel the difference in grip in, in, in the biasing power of the calipers now onto the discs. Um, obviously there is a little bit of weight saving as well because there's, there was a considerable amount of uh, material being taken away from the discs so there is less unsprung weight on the wheels now. And, um, Obviously it dissipates heat and it dissipates water a lot, a lot better. Um, so in a nutshell, I've got, I'll, I've got another video coming on, on how to service your, your brake calipers and how to spray paint them so to make them, nice, make them look nice and, and, and brand new. And another video again on how to change your braided lines and how to bleed them. So there's three videos coming. And actually another one again on how to service your master cylinders as well. So keep in touch. Subscribe to the Motor Gutsla channel. I've got a lot, a lot more videos regarding motorcycles and mechanical stuff coming and other topics as well. Um, so thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching this video and you found it educational and, and helpful, please leave a, a, nice, a nice line on YouTube for me, a nice comment. And if you've got any questions, technical questions, uh, leave me a line again on, on YouTube and I will get back to you as soon as I can and, and, and give you some answers if you need some. Um, other than that, thanks for watching like this video. Check me out on the Motor Gazelle channel and see you from Melbourne, Australia. Bye.